गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स माई नेम इज फरहान मजर एंड द सब्जेक्ट टूडे वी आर स्टडिंग इज कैमरेज ओ लेवल फिजिक्स फाइव जीरो फाइव फोर टूडे वी आर परफॉर्मिंग एन एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द कॉन्वेक्स लेंस सो द लेंस इन माई हैंड यू कैन सी दिस इज अ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस अ कॉन्वेक्स लेंस इज अ लेंस हु इज थिक इन द मिडल एंड इज थिन ऑन द साइड so that lens is also called the converging lens and this is also called the convex lens the biggest use of the convex lens in our daily life is that we use the convex lens for the magnifying glass so when we place any object inside the focal length of the convex lens the convex lens forms its virtual image that virtual image is magnified you can observe here that i am uh, we are using this uh, magnifying glass or convex lens and because that page is inside the focal length of this convex lens that's why a virtual and a magnified image can be seen this is a virtual the image is a virtual image and that image is only visible when you look through the lens if you look uh, if you do not look through the lens you will not be able to see that thing so when the object is placed inside the focal length of the convex lens the image formed is a virtual image the image is erect and the image you can say it is upright and the image is magnified this is the use of the convex lens as a magnifying glass Okay so uh, here uh, we have a convex lens and this board is acting like a screen so basically on this board i have fixed a white paper which will act like a screen okay so here i have this uh, convex lens and this convex lens i want to find out its uh, focal length for this purpose we are going to use an object you can see here on my ceiling we have a light and this is a light in my ceiling and in this light i have made some patterns uh which are not showing in this video uh unfortunately my camera is not capturing it but this is a light in our ceiling and we have drawn some patterns on uh, with the black marker on the surface of that light now i will try to make the image of this light on this screen with the help of this convex lens okay so what i am going to do is we are going to move this lens up and down up and down and oh can you see that you see i'm moving this lens up and down up and down up and down up and down and here here you can see the patterns which we have drawn on the light now they are on the screen this white screen you can see this you see i am moving this lens this is that uh, light and here is that lens and when i move it at some point what happens a very clear image is formed when the image is formed the distance between the this lens and this screen so here we have a screen and by screen i mean that i have a i have just a white paper on the ground actually this is a white board uh, sorry the drawing board and on this we have placed a paper and here we are holding a convex lens and uh, the convex lens can form a real image so uh here you can see we have here uh here on the ceiling 
we have a light and on this light uh, I have made some patterns with the yeah now you can see this ceiling this light and we have made some patterns on that light and so we want those patterns to be the image of those patterns to be on this screen okay so for this purpose now because that distance is very far away from this lens the sorry the distance between the object and this lens is quite large so we will say that this uh, object is at an infinite distance okay so what i will do i will move this convex lens up and down we are going to do the hit and trial method so move this lens little up and down and we are looking for that point when the image becomes sharp when the image will become sharp so we will do the hit and trial we will move the lens up and down move 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 the lens okay you see when i move the lens the image becomes blurred so i will look for that for that point when the image becomes sharp when the image becomes sharp then the distance between the screen and the lens that is equal to the focal length you see in this case what is happening the image of that illuminated object is clear on the ground and the distance between the lens and that screen that will be equals to the focal length of this lens the convex lens right now is making a real image it is uh, inverted image and uh, the object is at an infinite distance so the distance between the lens and the screen is equals to the focal length and we calculate that length with the help of a scale and we do that when the image formed of that illuminated object is 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 sharp move this lens little up down now it is uh, blurred move 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 at some point it becomes very sharp see oh so this is how you can estimate the focal length of a convex le convex lens when the object is at infinite distance so here we have a convex lens and we have a screen that screen actually means that we have a uh, drawing board on which we have placed a white paper so that will act like a screen here we have an object and this object is a basically a light in the ceiling and in this i have drawn some of my some lines black lines i have drawn so this object is near to this lens so in this case i will move the lens up and down until move the lens up and down until a sharp and the clear image is formed on the screen okay when the sharp image and clear image is formed the distance between the lens and the screen will be called v the distance between the lens and the and the object will be called u in this case the focal length of the lens will be f will be equals to uv divided by u plus v you see this is my object but this object is near my lens it is inside that uh, you can say 2f so what will happen uh, i will move this lens up and down this is a convex lens move it up and down when a clear image is formed on the screen the distance between the lens and the screen that will be called v and the distance between the lens and screen is v the distance between the object and this lens is u the focal length can be the focal length can be measured uh, calculated by f will be equals to u uh, uv divided by u plus f move this lens a little up and down you see the 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 the, the, the image the sharpness of the image is changing at some point this becomes the sharpest at that point when the image is sharpest you note down the 
u, you note down the v, and then you calculate the f. The formula is f is equals to u v divided by u plus v. And this is used when the object is near the lens. Okay. If the object is uh, at infinite distance, then the focal length will be then the focal length will be uh, equals to the distance between the lens and the screen. If the object is at a infinite distance, okay. So uh, this is how you estimate the focal length of a convex lens. These are two different methods. The lenses are basically of two kinds. One is called the convex lens. This is also called the converging lens. The other one is called the diverging lens. And the converging lens are also called the convex lenses and the diverging lens is called concave lens. So these are the few diagrams which shows that how this convex lens is used. You see, if the object is at an infinite distance, the lights, rays coming from that object, they will be focused on a plane which is passing through the focal length. For example, here we have an experiment which tells that how to find the focal length of a magnifying glass. Hold a magnifying glass above a piece of paper under the sun, adjust the distance between the lens and the paper until you can observe a small bright spot. This distance is its focal length. At its focal length, a magnifying glass focuses the sun's rays onto one small spot on its focal plane. Can you think of other ways? This is how you can make a spot on the wall of the sun, the image of the sun. Okay. The convex lens is also used in the human eye. Here we have the ray diagram. In the first ray diagram, you can observe that the object is at infinite distance. And when the object is at infinite distance from a convex lens, its image is formed on a plane which is passing through the focal length. In this case, the distance between the lens and the, and the clear and the sharp image on the screen, that distance is called V and that is equals to the f. When the object is not at infinite distance, but it is inside the, it is outside the 2f, then the image will be formed and at that point, the, when the image is sharp and clear, the distance between the lens and the screen, when the image is sharp and clear, that is called V and the distance between the object and the lens that is called U. In this case, the, the focal length can be calculated by the formula that F is equals to uh, U multiply V and the divided by sum of the U and the V. In this ray diagram, you can observe that the object is placed inside the focal length of the convex lens and when you place an object inside the focal length of a convex lens the image formed is a sharp uh, image and it's a virtual image and the image is magnified you see when you will place an object inside the focal length of a convex lens the image formed will be virtual it cannot be captured on a screen. The image formed will be magnified and this image will be upright.